Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. I'm your host, Darnisha, and I'm so happy to see you guys once again. I'm glad that we could come together and have a great conversation once again. I hope that October was great for you. We're now walking into a new month, new month, new beginnings, new growth, new progress, new change, okay? Today is, it's not really that day, so I'm like, what is today? (laughs) Today is October 30th. There's one more day in the month. Um, So I definitely want to talk about something that can lead you into new growth. Um, I was reminded of this because I was trying to encourage um, someone else about this. And I was like, wow, I've overcome it. And I didn't really notice that I've overcome it. I just... It didn't just happen overnight, but it's like, wow, I'm really not there anymore. Today, we're going to be discussing overcoming self-doubt and building self-confidence. When I tell you self-doubt is something that, that's my battle. That is my battle. Um, I don't deal with it as much as I used to, but like anything, it still creeps in from time to time. Um, but I'm definitely not where I used to be. And there's just so many different ways that I could tell that I'm not where I used to be. And I really want you to hear my journey and hopefully that can inspire you or encourage you just to keep going and encourage you to implement certain things to help change that for you. I was trying to figure out, um, what am I going to talk about this week? And usually I try to connect it to something that I'm going through or something that I'm experiencing or, you know, but I was like, "Eh, I can't do that because I'm good. I'm okay. But then I thought, okay, I wasn't always okay though. So that's what I want to discuss today. Um, Self-doubt is something that I've dealt with in the past and it was bad. It was really bad. It was just... I, it's hard for me to explain because it's like everybody sees you in a certain light, but you don't see yourself in that same light. And it's something as humans, like we do that, right? Everybody was like, oh, you're the goat. You're so great at this. You're so creative. You're this, you're that. And it's like, uh, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> And it's really just not that you're not seeing it. It's just not to your personal expectation, right? So that's how it was for me. There's even, when I think about, there's something that I'm doing right now that I'm doing to um, better my career with building the clothing brand. But I had a chance to do this last year. Last year when I was battling self-doubt. Last year when I didn't have this confidence that I have today. And... I wasn't able to take part in this opportunity because I didn't have the money to invest. So I thought God works in mysterious ways. Okay. I'm thinking back then that it was because I didn't have the money and I don't really think that that's what it was. That was a part of it, but I truly believe that God does things on his time. His time is the best time. If I had have taken that opportunity back then, it would have broken me down. Back then, I would scroll and compare, scroll and compare, scroll and comp- like it was it was the comparison thing, right? It was the spirit of jealousy that I didn't know I truly had when comparing myself to others, people in that same space. In this opportunity that I'm in right now, I'm around people, I'm in discussion with people, networking with people who do the exact same thing as me, right? But I don't have that jealousy spirit. I don't have that comparison spirit. I'm truly walking in my purpose and knowing that what's for me is for me. And when it's time for me to have whatever God has for me, I will have it. I'm confidently walking in that now, but back then I wasn't. And if God had given me that opportunity back then, Like I said, it would have broke me down because I would have known how to navigate that situation correctly, right? It's just a beautiful thing to see because 
like I said, back then I thought it was just I didn't have the money to invest. That's not the real reason that I didn't get that opportunity. I didn't get that opportunity because I mentally was not ready for that. I mentally was not ready to be around people who were doing the same thing as me, seeing them win, and maybe I'm not winning right now. I was mentally not ready for that. But it's it's like once you get on the other side, it's so exciting. It's rewarding. It's like, okay, wow, I really don't think that same way. I really don't doubt myself like I used to. I'm super confident in what God gave to me. What God is doing with me, I am sure of that, right? I'm not doubtful of any of that. I want to help you get here. I want to help you feel this feeling. It's not going to happen overnight, but there are some steps that you can take right now to figure out how to overcome self, self-doubt, self okay? First, you have to recognize self-doubt. I had to recognize that. I was doubting myself. I was doubting my abilities. I was doubting the gifts given to me. Everybody else thinks I'm so good at this. And I'm like, well, I could be better. (laughs) And I was so focused on my flaws instead of focusing on the things I was good at. So it's, it's good to recognize like, hey, I am, I have this doubtful spirit about myself. Okay. Because once you recognize it, you can identify these common thoughts that you have that are beating you down. And that's what it was for me. It was it was thoughts, right? Over and over again, like, okay, I'm probably actually not going to have that life that I really desire. Nobody else has done it. Why do I feel like I'm going to be the difference? I'm going to be the difference maker out here, okay? That's what I was thinking over and over and over again. And it just eats you alive. You repeat these same thoughts over and over again, and you suddenly start to believe it. When honestly, those thoughts are not even true. It's all a lie. It's not even true. You have to understand that you're, not only are you in a mental battle, but you're in a spiritual battle as well. And that's what I came to realize. So after recognizing that you're going through self-doubt, identify those common thoughts that you're having that's eating at you in a negative way, okay? Identify your behaviors. For me, it was, like I said, the scrolling. Why am I sitting here not doing anything? Why am I sitting here watching others do exactly what I desire to do, but I'm not doing anything? Why am I gaining all of this knowledge, but I'm not actively doing anything? It was a negative behavior that I had that stemmed from self-doubt. Because if I truly believed in myself, I would have put some action behind the knowledge that I was getting, right? Um, What are some other behaviors? So it was hard for me to accept the compliment. That was one of the behaviors that stemmed from self-doubt for me. Like people, like I said, would say, hey, you're the GOAT. You're so creative. You're good at this. Oh, my gosh. Fashionista. And I'm like, eh. Mm -hmm. that's how I felt like (laughs) it was awkward because I knew that I had these underlying thoughts about myself so it was hard for me to accept a compliment and instead of accepting a compliment I would probably say something like um I'm not that good it's okay like I I got a lot I can do better it could have been better I'll say stuff like that instead of giving myself grace and actually speaking good things about myself I would just brush off the compliments with something negative which isn't good because it just shows your insecurity and it's not always good to show your insecurity to others um because some people like to use that against you but it's also just not good to be insecure in general so identify your behaviors and try to figure out how to combat that for me combating that behavior of not accepting compliments I mean honestly I just started to accept them just say thank you even if I am having um doubtful thoughts just say thank you I appreciate you because maybe right now you're not able to truly accept that what they're saying about you is true 
but there's a moment in time for everything. And when somebody is giving you a compliment, that's not the time to tear yourself down. Just say, thank you. I appreciate you. And you can deal with that negative thought that you were having. You can deal with that later. Next is just recognizing your triggers. Social media did it for me. Anybody who knows me knows I will tell you I do not like social media. I do not. But I think that started with uh, me going through the whole self-doubt thing. I think that's where it started because, you know, social media, everybody posts their wins. Everybody posts what they have going on that's good. Nobody's posting the real, right? So I'm seeing everybody doing what I would love to do doing what I know I can do or what I feel like I can do better, right? And I'm comparing myself to them. I'm like, why are they winning and I'm not? Why are they getting this and I'm not? When I'm at the same level as them or if I feel like, for me, that I'm better than them, why am I not winning in such a way? And comparison literally is the thief. Thief of all joy, especially if you don't know how to actually use comparison for good. It's the thief of all joy. And that's exactly what it was doing for me. Scrolling on social media did nothing but trigger me into self-doubt. I would see somebody doing good and then here comes that jealous spirit. Here comes that self-doubt. And I'm just thinking all of these things about me, myself, what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, what I could be doing. And it just tore me apart. I took a break from social media. I will, I will leave. <laughs> I will leave social media in a minute, okay? Which is also hard <laughs> because I do have a clothing brand, so I can't just be leaving social media like that. But if I feel like I'm struggling in a way, I will leave. I will delete an app. I don't care what app it is. If I uh, Twitter, Snapchat, I don't care. Like Instagram, Facebook. If you see me gone for a minute. I will do that to keep my sanity. I will do that to protect my mental health and do what you have to do. In that time of me trying to overcome self-doubt, I am followed some people. Nothing against these people, but they were a trigger for me, right? Because I saw them doing things that I would love to do. And for some reason, I can't right now. Within myself, I'm not doing those things that I should be doing. So I had to unfollow them because it was something within me that I had to take care of. And it worked. Sometimes you have to pull yourself back in order to really figure out what's going on with you and how are you going to take care of it. A big, big tip that I can give. I got to remember the name of this book. Uh, I think it's called The War Within. Let me look it up because I, I want to give you the right name. Oh, it's called Winning the War in Your Mind. That was an amazing book. It is Christian based, um, but it truly helped me. It truly did. And as I took that time away from social media, I really dived deep into this book. I did the little activities that it had inside and it truly helped me um, redefine my thoughts. It showed me where the lies were and it showed me the truth. And that's truly what it's all about. Your mind will play tricks on you. You're also in this spiritual fight. But you have to first recognize that. And then you have to get some tools um, to help combat it, right? That book, I strongly suggest it. If you're dealing with self-doubt, don't feel like you're different. Don't feel like you're weird. Don't feel like you're some freak. Like Everybody deals with self-doubt in some way, even if they don't recognize that that's what they're dealing with. So let's get into some strategies to build self-confidence. One thing that I would say, and this is not like concrete, this is it. There's more, but I can't get into all of that. (laughs) But two of them that I want to highlight is only highlight your strengths, okay? Stop thinking about what you're not good at. Stop thinking about where you don't excel. Think about where you are good at. What do you excel in? Bring up proof. Show yourself proof of things that you're good at. So one thing for me, I'll look back on all of these things that I've created and I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I really did. I did that for sure. (laughs) So I'm focusing on these things that I did so well in order to boost my confidence, in order to change my mindset. I'm no longer thinking about how 
I failed at this one project. I'm no longer thinking about how I thought I was good at this, but then I failed. I'm focusing on the things that I did great. I'm giving myself that confidence booster by focusing on these things that I'm good at, right? So I do suggest doing that. Look back on the things that you've done well. You don't want to forget about your weaknesses, though, because we don't just want to become Delulu. Like, <laughs> I ain't telling you to be Delulu and forget all the other things that you need to work on. So number two, I would say is build new habits that enhance your weaknesses. Don't just beat yourself up over the weaknesses that you have. Actually do things to make your weaknesses better, to build a stronger connection with the things you're not good at. So one of my weaknesses for me is that it's hard for me to just finish something. Like I feel like I start so many little things I get so excited about them and then somehow I just fall off from that thing and I don't actually finish. So I had to build new habits on just finishing something, right? <clears throat> One of the ways I did that was I had this 18, what did I call it? Flavor, 18 days of Fashionista's flavor, something like that I did, where I posted a real TikTok for um, 18 days straight, I believe. In February, something like that. Either I posted every day in February, <laughs> and it was something small that I did every day, just so that I could show myself that I can start and finish something, that I could see something through, and not just stop in the middle, get bored, um, procrastinate. Like I figured it out, even if I didn't have the time. So I thought I figured it out and I got it done. It's you if you have to start small where it's not truly connected to what you want to grow. Like I just want to help my overall procrastination. So I do something small and make sure that I stay the course with that. Be consistent with that. That's what I want to do. Just fix my overall consistency. And starting with something small that didn't had nothing to do with the brand, you know, my career. It was just me staying the course, me being consistent, me starting and finishing. So figure out some new habits that could help enhance your weaknesses. Let's talk about the other side, right? That's the exciting part. The other side of self-doubt. When you overcome it, you have this confidence. You have this glow about yourself. And it's not a cocky thing. It's a confidence thing. And you radiate that. People can see that. People can also see your self-doubt. It can make people uncomfortable. But on the other side comes personal growth. This whole podcast thing, this is not my thing. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do this had I not overcome self-doubt. I would compare myself to every other podcaster out there. But I know my purpose. I know why I'm here. I know why I'm talking to you. I know what that is for. So I'm no longer comparing myself to what he's doing, she's doing, they're doing, right? I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm walking in confidence and walking in purpose with that, right? But I had to overcome self-doubt first. I had to truly realize what was the point. I had to realize that. What's the purpose here? Me, him, her, them, we all don't have the same purpose. We all have our own journey that we are walking on. And this is truly personal growth. Being able to do something that you never thought you would. Being able to accomplish things that you never thought you would. That brings me to another positive of this other side is achievements when I was doubting myself I wasn't achieving anything because I wasn't focused I was so focused on my weaknesses and the things I didn't do how I wasn't like this person that I couldn't truly focus on growth focus on success focus on actually doing the things that would help my business grow or help me grow as a person I wasn't achieving anything but once I got focused once I got confident in me, confident in the one who made me, I cannot be stopped. I cannot be stopped. This is just the beginning. Like, there's so much that I have to achieve. There's so much that I have achieved. And right now, this might be small stuff, but it starts small first. Start small first, and one day it's going to be huge achievements, right? But you have to overcome that self-doubt first because you can never truly walk into the rooms you're supposed to walk into. You can never truly be the person you're supposed to be if you're overly 
doubting yourself, if you're overly being overly negative towards yourself, right? Who's with you 100% of the time? You. You're with you 100% of the time. So there's no way that you can beat yourself up over and over and over again and achieve greatness. Achieve the greatness that you're supposed to achieve. You got to be gentle on your mind. You have to be gentle with yourself in order to give yourself room to be great. Also on the other side is emotional well-being. When I tell you, when I was dealing with self-doubt, I was one sad girl. <laughs> like, I feel bad for my boyfriend because I know the random tears, the random, I'm just not good at it. Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? Oh my gosh, the random tears. It must have been a headache because I just was not emotionally stable. But when you truly build that confidence within yourself, you have an emotional well-being. You know you know your triggers. You know what causes you to feel a certain way. Um, you know how to pull yourself out until you're ready to jump back in. And just, it's not a mental battle all the time. It's not a 24 seven mental battle because you truly know how to take care of your mind, take care of your peace, take care of yourself. And it's, it's a joy because I, when I think about where I was a year ago, what I was doing, like I would literally spend the day with myself and end up crying because I didn't get something done that I wanted to get done. I saw something that made me compare, doubt myself, and I just didn't do it. I just stopped. But now it's like, I, I'm still a procrastinator. Oh, pish posh. I, I still procrastinate. But it's not because of that, right? It's not because I'm doubting myself or comparing myself. It's it's because I'm, I'm kind of lazy and I'm, I be sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is now that's all another battle but it feels good to know that that's not why you deserve to have good mental health you deserve all the achievements that you're supposed to have you deserve to have personal growth that you can be proud of but you first have to stop doubting yourself stop doubting what you already know is inside of you the journey of overcoming self-doubt it looks different for everyone my advice is really to practice self-awareness and self-acceptance. Know who you are. Know why you do the things you do. And if you don't like it, change it. You got that power to change it. If you are not truly proud of it, if you don't truly like it, you got the power to change it. Know who you are and know whose you are. Okay? Stray away from the lies. The lies will come. They will come to come back. When God gives you a purpose, when he puts something inside of you, you have to know that God is not the only one who knows about that, right? There is an enemy that is coming to attack you spiritually. And it will create these lies in your mind. Make you believe all these negative things about yourself when it's really not true. You are a child of a king. You are an heir to the throne, right? Walk in that. Believe that. Don't let that attack keep you from being successful. And always remember your truths. What's actually true. You're not actually always losing. You're actually always winning. But self-doubt, that mental attack, it will make you believe that you're always losing. But you're actually winning. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be empowered. I want you to be inspired, okay? Self-doubt, it's a journey. It's going to take time to actually overcome it, but you got to put in the work, right? It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen by you just sitting there waiting for change to happen. You have to do the work within yourself. You have to actually identify where the problems lie, where they came from, and then do something to change it, right? I hope that this conversation was very encouraging for you. I hope that you believe in yourself, believe in your purpose. Okay, like I just want you to feel this feeling of self-confidence. I want you to feel this feeling of no longer being doubtful of your gift, of yourself, because you deserve to feel it. All right, all right, all right. That's all I have for you guys. Um, Be on the lookout for November 1st. Be on the lookout for the whole November because it's about to get crazy. Okay, your girl got some things staring up. Make sure y'all go to our website. 
If you haven't already signed up for the VIP list, make sure you sign up now. Um, and check us out on our Instagram. A lot of things that I, the first place I posted is probably going to be Instagram. So make sure you follow us on there. TikTok, all the links are in the description, by the way. Make sure you like the show. Comment down below. And that's all I got for you. Have a great, great, great end to your October and start to your November, okay? Stop down yourself, stop down your abilities, and stop down your gifts, stop down your God, okay? Continue to change, progress, grow. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I hope you learn to make it on your own. And if you let yourself, just know you'll never be alone. I hope that you get everything you